Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hit that like button down below if you're having a good day. If you want to get to level 100 faster, level 300 faster, getting that golden peely. But today guys, I'm gonna help you do just that. Help you gain a ton of XP by showing you a bunch of tricks and especially a glitch that helps you to get a lot of XP in one of the fastest ways possible as of right now. So yeah guys, this video will be super helpful and with all of that being said, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications for more videos like this helping you guys get xp in the fastest way possible and level up and on top of that guys if you appreciate these guides and you want to help support me be sure to use code the llama sir in the item shop as an epic partner it helps support the channel and i appreciate it a ton but without further ado here guys let's just go ahead and jump on into it all right guys but let's hop into game here so i can show you exactly how to do this glitch and stuff and to get this xp like insanely fast so basically all you need to do is first of all i would recommend solo because we are going to be taking advantage of the henchmen and the bosses and those specific locations so you're going to want to make sure you do either solo duos or squads but if you're playing by yourself solo is just fine and again you can't do team rumble so just something to keep in mind but yeah definitely do solo that's probably the best so yeah guys here we are in a match and basically the first thing you're going to want to do to sort of set this up is take a look at where a couple of locations are the two locations that you want to go to are either the rig right here or the grotto over on this side now why why do you want to go to those two locations? Well, because they are generally regarded as the least common locations for people to land because the weapons are, they're still good, but they're not as good as like the shark or the yacht and the agency is right in the center. So it's definitely a lot more common. However, we're going to go to the grotto this game simply because the rig is right off the start of the battle bus path, meaning that most people are probably going to still go to the rig. So we're going to instead go to the grotto so that it's a little bit less common, a little bit less crowded, and that'll help us to actually get this done. Done. So yeah guys, simply jump outside of the bus and personally I would recommend landing in the uh, like wind turbine area or whatever you want to call it just because that can help you get to a specific spot that's great to do this but you can land anywhere you want it doesn't really matter you'll be able to do this in a couple of different ways you can also go ahead and land like right down there right away but we're just going to go inside of the wind turbine so yeah I like to go in here first and also grab this chest which can get us some weapons which will definitely prove helpful and it also gets us a little bit of XP right away then after that you're going to want to dive all the way down to the bottom and go through this door we might have a guy following us but I think we should be all right but yeah guys basically you want to head into this area and you can disguise yourself as well it can be helpful but you basically want to first of all find this henchman right here eliminate him and then you'll be able to pick him up and this is where the trick or glitch whatever you want to call it starts basically you want to scan this henchman at this door right here it doesn't really matter which door you use but you want to scan the henchman that is the key to this because as you can see guys you can go from one side over to the next and you can just keep going back and forth and scanning this opponent over and over and over again and that gives you the XP and stuff each time from scanning the opponent so as you can see we're already up to 2,000 XP we get 500 each time and then we want to walk over back to this one scan him again and we'll get yet another 500 as you can see right there you do have to wait for them to um, reload or recharge for a little bit but basically Basically, by the time you're done scanning and running back and forth, it'll be time to scan it again. So just keep on doing that over and over again, and you'll keep on getting XP. And this is just the first part of this, guys. So again, you just want to keep going back and forth. And as you can see, the uh, henchman will eventually get eliminated, but that's not too big of a deal because then we just simply need to find another henchman and we can sneak in here and uh, find a henchman somewhere in this general area a lot of the time. Oh, we even got some of the mythic stuff right away. <laughs> Somebody didn't pick it up. That's nice as well because you can then go to the vault right here and simply scan the key card and that'll open the vault getting you 893 XP, which is great as well. As long as you eliminate the boss and get his key card, you can then go in here as well and you'll get XP from opening that supply drop. We got almost 1500 because it was the first supply drop of the match. We got a scavenger medal. We can also open that chest we got 5,000 for our bonus medal for getting scavenger and then we can uh open this chest as well for some reason those chests don't give us xp which is a little weird either way though that gives us a ton right there but yeah we need to go quick and find another henchman luckily for us there's one right here should be able to get him pretty easily 
there we go got the henchman so we just need to carry him and yeah guys we need to just run back here so that we can go back outside of the door and start doing that scanning stuff again as you can see scan him once more it'll give us the xp right there and then we can go to this one and soon as it loads back up scan him give us even more xp as you can see then scan him even more and keep getting that xp also one thing make sure you don't like move away because then you won't get the scan complete it'll say target lost so just make sure you stay there until it completes the scan and uh, pops up with access granted that'll give you the xp for it but yeah we even have this location to ourselves right now so we can just grab another henchman right here uh, we gotta get away from that turret which is a little bit annoying so shields help with that stuff make sure not to get eliminated that's important as well now guys i will say that at a certain point you can't scan the henchman anymore i think it's somewhere around like 14 tries i want to say but either way that's still a ton of xp but by that time you'll be able to just go over and start eliminating other henchmen and then you can like shake them down too which gets you a bunch of xp it gets you like four to five hundred i guess we'll see right here so yeah, loading it up right there, 425 XP for shaking down a henchman, and we can just eliminate him super easily. And then we just keep moving on to the other henchman. We'll eliminate... Okay, never mind. We got eliminated right there. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and try it on the rig as well so I can show you how it works over there. And as you can see, our XP for that round, that little bit, and that was around like eight minutes of game time. We got 28,000 XP, which is definitely pretty fast. All right, guys, so here we go. We got a good bus path for the rig. As you can see, it's on the end of the bus path, so this should work pretty well. Now, I also will say that I believe most of the doors that you can scan are inside of the main rig itself. There might be a couple like over here or in this big yellow building, which you'll be able to see but let's just go ahead and jump on down there and take a look all right so let's just go right here and eliminate this henchman right away because we can go ahead and carry him and i do know that actually okay wait we got to be careful but yeah okay <laughs> eliminate that henchman this isn't the best spot but as you can see there are scanners right here that we can use just to prove that it works on the rig too and uh, scan right there, get our 500 XP, and then you can run to like this side as well. Scan them there, and you'll get your XP again. It'll open the door. There you go, give us our XP, and you can just keep doing that back and forth, back and forth. Again, this isn't the best spot to do it because you're out in the open, but if you're like the only person at this location, and I got eliminated right there because there are other people here, but if you're the only one there, you can just keep on doing that very easily. All right, guys, but let's hop into another match here because I want to take more of a look at some of the questions we may have about how to get XP from these locations so that you can add even more ways of getting XP to this little glitch. Like, for example, does the bot give extra XP if you scan him what about eliminating the boss does that give extra XP so we're gonna take a look at that stuff probably for this one we're going to drop at the rig so yeah let's go ahead and land right over here so we can get this right away oh my gosh how does he see me from down there are you oh he's actually hitting me too he's shooting like at the base of this these bots are insane sometimes guys like what the heck Ooh, I almost forgot there was something there. All right, the goal right away is to just find the boss, which I know is on, like, this main area most of the time. So let's see if we can find her right away. That's just a normal player right there. Oh, come on. There we go. I knew there was somebody around here, but there. Is she going inside of the room? I didn't know they could go inside of the rooms. I just got to make sure she can't hit me with that boom ball. I think I should be all right right here. Oh, she's not even trying to hit me. All right, so we knocked down Tiantina. I could tell she was using the Boombo, so that was indeed her. And this spot's actually pretty decent for uh, doing this little trick as well. So knock that guy down. But yeah, we can pick up Tiantina, as you can see, and scanning her right here. Does she give us any extra XP for scanning the boss? Okay, no, it is just 510 XP. But again, we can just open that door. Then we can go down to this one. They're pretty close together, and they're also off on the side. So this is actually a pretty decent spot to do this at the rig as well. But yeah, I'm also curious what happens if you shake down a boss. Do you get any extra for doing that? So no, 425 XP, that is the same amount. And how about just an elimination on the boss? Okay, so we do get 701 XP for eliminating the boss, which isn't too much, but it's still, it's all right. Because as you can see here, if we eliminate just a regular henchman, we get 340 XP. And again, that is supercharged, but that's still pretty good. Now also with that, I want to take a look at the rigs uh, vault, because the vault is a very good way of getting XP as well. And I believe there's actually an XP coin in here right away. 
that uh, spawned recently. So let's go ahead and swipe the key card. That'll give us some XP too for opening the vault. 890 XP is pretty good. So definitely make sure you open the vault as well. But if we go inside, yeah, there it is. There's an XP coin here now. So how much does that give you? I'm a little bit curious. Oh, all right, 2200 XP, that's pretty good. And again, these chests don't give you XP for whatever reason. So I guess there's not a ton of XP in here, but you can also search this supply drop that gives you 574. So I mean, not terrible, but I don't know. It's a little annoying that these chests don't give you XP. They do work for the scavenger metal though, which is really nice. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Now the storm is coming for us, so we got to move away here soon. But I'm curious, does going in here give you any XP just for leaving? No, it does not. However, there there is a chest here so that will give you a bit of xp as well chests are good for xp for some reason 550 xp it's actually pretty solid what about lighting a campfire does that give you anything nope it does not and uh disguising yourself doesn't give you any xp as well however we did get an achievement right there i'm not sure what that is but we got something so yeah guys i think that's pretty much all of the xp tricks we can get from these henchmen areas from the rig from the grotto but it's definitely one of if not the best way to get xp at the moment so yeah but with that being said guys remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications because i'm planning on posting more of these xp guides and tricks as soon as i find more of them i've actually got another one planned you don't want to miss that and on top of that you can check out some of the previous videos on the screen right now but again guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one